Whilst the global statistics for morbidity and mortality for the coronavirus is on the increase, it is heartening to observe a developing country like the island of Sri Lanka's meshes to minimize the spread of the disease has been a great success and a model. The latest global statistics reveal that the number of countries where coronavirus infection has been reported has reached 115 with Panama and Mongolia reporting their first cases. The number of overall corona cases globally has passed 116,000 and the number of global deaths has passed 4,000. However, not everything is bleak. For the first time since the outbreak started, the number of newly daily cases in China fell below 50. Sri Lanka, that little island in the Indian Ocean, with a population of over 20 million people, since January till now, only 144 cases have proved having the virus. Only four deaths have been notified so far. The last death occurred as an inpatient being treated at the Infectious Disease Hospital in London. <laughs> Sigma <laughs> So, how did they curtail the spread of the virus with such astounding results in a pandemic situation? And that's what we are going to talk about now. Sri Lankan health system has both public and private health care sectors. The public health care system is free for all citizens. Going hand in hand, Sri Lanka has a free education system until graduate school for the last 60 years, thanks to the free education system. For learning, the technology is available, the connectivity is available, everything is out there, the infrastructure is ready. It's just a matter of putting a person set together, like set of heads together and making use of what's available. Students and parents seem happy for now with what they're offering. Home study packs and even term exams with detailed instructions. I feel very happy now and I have more free time. But I also feel sad because I don't get to go for my basketball practices. He just hopes the vendors, Al Jazeera, Colombo. Sri Lanka has trained thousands of well-qualified healthcare professionals and paramedicals workforce for many decades through nine well-regulated and state-of-the-art medical faculty covering all regions of the country and all free of charge. The doctors and paramedical staff receive postgraduate training and continuous medical education throughout their career. Since the origin of the novel coronavirus in Wuhan, Sri Lankan authorities started to take vigilance in stopping the potential danger. The military forces and the National Intelligence Service was put on high alert. The government created specialized aviation and border control expert teams. 
to track the movements of all inbound tourists and with a potential threat. The first detected case of the coronavirus infection was on a Chinese woman who arrived in Sri Lanka on the 19th of January, passing through the thermal scanners at the airport, she was confirmed having coronavirus. She was promptly admitted to the infectious disease hospital in Colombo and was discharged after being fully cured. She was given a mighty welcome by the Minister of Health visiting the hospital on the day she was discharged. So, Sri Lanka's first case was well handled and there wasn't any spread of the disease at that stage. On 3rd March 2020, the first reported case involving a Sri Lankan origin outside Sri Lanka was reported in Italy. As of 23rd March 2020, 45 quarantine centres were opened in the country by the Sri Lankan army as a preventive measure to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. Nearly 3,500 people have been under quarantine in 45 quarantine centres, which also include 31 foreigners from 14 countries. Military and police personnel have been deployed island-wide to maintain law and order to restrict people's movements to contain the highly contagious virus and also to be alerted on other security measures. The curfew currently in force in the districts of Colombo, Gampa, Kalutra, Kandy and Jaffna, which have been identified as high-risk zones in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, will be in effect until further notice. In other districts, the curfew was lifted on the 1st of April for a few hours of the day. The, the public can purchase essential foods and other goods while at home through a government mechanism before the people could visit the supermarkets to purchase their essential goods and only admitted to the market in batches. Since the first week of March, passengers coming from Italy, Iran or South Korea have been required to be quarantined for two weeks at one of the two facilities. On March 10th, 186 people, out of which 164 Sri Lankan nationals, 20 Italian nationals and two South Korean nationals were placed under quarantine in Batikalo. On 10th March 2020, two Sri Lankan origins living in United Arab Emirates reported with coronavirus case were identified. So you will see that prompt action taken by the government curtailed the spread of infection in the island. All train travellers were allowed free travel during the coronavirus outbreak, the reason being the tellers at the railway stations were reluctant to handle money from the travellers. In conclusion, I would like to state that Sri Lanka, though being a developing country, has handled to curtail the spread of the deadly coronavirus infection 
satisfactorily compared to most developed countries. The latest figures are 151 identified cases and four deaths. Well done, Sri Lanka. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep well and stay 1.5 meters apart from others and stay at home as much as possible. It is a difficult period for all of us in the world, but we have the strength to cope and survive. Goodbye and be safe. Oh, we will spread.